Hi everybody, this is Annie from the Planner Society's design team. Um, my Instagram handle is Papered Love. I will leave all of my links down below in the description box. But today I wanted to share with you all my TN setup. This is using the August Planner Society TN um, with various kits from the TN kit um, as well as the um, August kits as well. So the Planner Society August kits, not just the TN one. But yeah, I am really excited to share with you guys what my setup is like. Um, I only recently kind of got big on the traveler notebooks. I think it was maybe... I'd say like four or five months ago where I really started to get into getting some traveler's notebooks and learning how to set up things and kind of making things work for me. I still don't have things down to a T. I'm no pro, of course, but it's just fun having something that you can make your own and really decorate based off of your style. And with the kits from the Planner Society, whether it be the TN kit or the Planner kits, it just makes it so easy for people who are beginners like me. Um, I think my setup was kind of mediocre, but I think it looks really nice only because the kits are so nice. But I hope you guys enjoy watching the setup. It is going to be a fairly short video, but yeah, um, let's just get started. So I do have my little bow here, and I also have the charm on the side. I just look think like it looks really cute and I like the way that it dangles when I have it sitting up like this well it's obviously not gonna look like that but when it's sitting up like this you kind of see the spine with the charm and I just think it looks so nice and feminine I have some clips up here as well but yeah let's open her up and get to the inside and I just want to make sure I'm in frame okay good so opening up my TN, um, this is what she looks like so far. She is kind of chunky. I have a total of six inserts and I also have the, uh, where is it? The uh, sticker inserts as well. So you'll see that I have the stickers here. This comes with the TN kit, but she is kind of chunky, a good amount. Um, I have an extra jump band there. I. I think I kind of did it wrong. She's, it's kind of sticking out a little bit, so I'm definitely gonna have to watch some YouTube videos myself to kind of learn about how to get that more even. But um, she easily fits six inserts in here. I know you can add more chunk to it, but so far, this is my setup, and I am comfortable with her chunkiness. <laughs> so uh, on the first pocket, I do have a pack of die cuts here. I really love using die cuts when it comes to planning and embellishing. I just think they're a great feature. And I have the little mini stickers here. Um, quite a few sheets actually. So you'll see I did use some of them for embellishing and stuff like that. But yeah, I love, love, love die cuts. You're definitely going to want to keep some type of a tape runner like this one or a glue stick around. Um, it's just really helpful when it comes to using die cuts because they're not sticky. Alright, and then this is my first insert. Um, it is kind of empty right now. I just finished setting this TN up. I haven't really got to using her just yet. I wanted to just finish the setup portion of it. But this is the first insert that I have. I just really love the fairy girl, so I wanted this to be the very first one so that when you open it up, it's the first thing you see. But that's really the only reason why I chose this particular insert for the first booklet. And then I do have some really beautiful vellum here and another insert that I decorated using a journaling card and one of those die cuts I was talking about. I love die cuts, you guys. I just think they're so cute. They add like an extra nice touch when it comes to decorating things. So that's what my second insert looks like. I do have a little pom-pom um, clip from Peach Palm. They're some of my favorites. I went with a white one because there's a lot of white in the floral. And then I have another one of those journaling cards, but it's a pocket one. I went ahead and just put in my little washi sheets inside. I think it looks really nice and it's clear so you can see it more. That's where I'm housing my little washi inserts, or washi sheets, sorry. 
that's that second page of the vellum. This is another insert that I decorated um, with a journal card and another die cut. This one has a little bit of washi on the bottom here. I'm not sure if you can see it clearly, but there is a strip of washi on the bottom. It's one of the floral ones that came with the, um, the planner kit. And I just love this fairy girl. I think she's so pretty. Um, one of the things about Christie's little planner girls or fairy girls, whatever you want to call her, TPS girls, she leaves them blank when it comes to their skin tone. And the reason why she does that is because she wants to make them customizable to each of her um, customers. So for me, I am Asian. So if I wanted to customize her to kind of look like me, I just use more of like a yellow based skin tone colored pencil or marker or whatever it need be and color her in to look like me. So I think that's a really great thing. Um, it kind of saves her the trouble of having to also make a bunch of different colored girls and then having to sort each girl for each customer. It's really hard to do when your business has so many clients or so many customers to do that sort of thing. It does, it does cut into time and production, so it's difficult to do. And so this, I think, is a really great, not only business idea, but um, it's just great for the customers as well because you can customize her to look like you or to look like whoever you want her to look like, which is cool. You can turn her into a rainbow fairy if you wanted to. If you're into that, you can do it. So that's just my little spiel right there. I think it's a great thing. I kind of like the way that she looks as is. I don't feel like I have to color her in because there is so much white in this traveler's notebook as well as the kit itself so I just think it looks great that way um okay and then I have a little clear pocket here I have my little um October die cut this is from sparkly paper co um it was a part of that collaboration with foxy fix and um Annie's plan printables um who else did this fox and pip there were a bunch of different shops who um, participated in this little collaboration for fall so I just have one of those die cuts here for the month of October I think it looks great um, I have another piece of vellum here this is a gorgeous blue floral one I just think it looks so pretty in between this pink background and this more tribal print uh, so pretty and then I have some more die cuts here these ones are free printables from the honeybee shop that can be found on her blog um, fall themed of course I just think it looks so cute. She's drinking her little cup of coffee and there's like a pumpkin spice and all things nice die cut. But yeah, if you're looking for this, you can find it on her blog. So cute. Um, I do have another clip here from the uh, TN kit, a pink one. And then there's another piece of that vellum. It's just the back of it. Then I have this insert here. This one didn't require any decorating because it has this gorgeous photo right up front behind this beautiful vintage floral background. I just love the way this looks. I think it's gorgeous and it's just so pretty. It's like muted. I don't know how to explain it. I mean, I called it vintage, but it's just so pretty. I don't know. I like would use this as like a phone background or something. Like it's just so pretty. I would totally use this as like a phone wallpaper. Um, but moving on. I then have the sticker inserts that come with the kit right in the back here. Um, I folded the pages up and there's quite a couple of different stickers here. So you have your embellishing ones, your decorative ones, your half boxes, quarter boxes, some washi strips, full boxes, a really great variety of stickers and headers, icons, appointment boxes. I mean, literally these kits come with everything you need to set up your traveler's notebooks and it just makes it so easy for anyone, even if you're a beginner like me. I love it. Um, I then have a acetate here, clear acetate. I actually might move this around because this is, if you look clearly, it has butterflies on it and my last insert has a background of butterflies. So I was actually thinking about moving this and maybe doing um, one of the vellums in the back. I don't want butterfly on butterfly I really like mixing things up and having it look like a variety um, I just think it looks better that way so contemplating that yeah I think I'm gonna move that so my last insert is that butterfly background I was talking about um, if you notice the ones with a plain background I decorated the ones with images I did not decorate um, I didn't want to cover up those gorgeous 
images. So whichever ones had like regular backgrounds, I actually decorated. So I did the same for this. Use a journaling card, some of that thicker washi that came with the planner kit that featured some of the fairies, and then another die cut here. I do have one of the clips here, and then just a last page of acetate. But um, one thing that I was trying to do that I haven't gotten around to doing yet is creating a pen loop. I know that the September kits come with a um, product that allows you to do that with the product, um, with the tools to do it. But uh, I wanted to make one that kind of matches this blue theme, or like maybe do a white one. So I definitely need to do that because this pen <laughs> that came with the planner kit is just perfect for this TN but I don't have anywhere to put it. So I need to create some type of a pen loop here so that I can have it there and just look look at how pretty that looks. Do you see that? Like if it could just sit there, that would be perfect, like perfection. So definitely something I am meaning to do. Um, if I do, I can try to make a tutorial on it. Um, I know there are quite a lot of tutorials on how to do that. That might be something that I'll put on my personal YouTube account and not the design team one for the planner society because I know there's so many different projects and videos out there so but yeah something I might do but in the meantime I can just keep it here with this band because she is so chunky that it kind of keeps the pen a little bit in place not completely but I mean it still shifts around a bit but it's good enough for me but that concludes my traveler's notebook setup video I hope you guys enjoyed watching this um, I may move things around here and there. I know I want to move that acetate in the back and then create a pen loop, but um, you never know. With these setups, you can have fun with it and change it up. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a lovely week, and I'll catch you later in the next video. Bye.